Hello, you were listening to foodoffensive.com's Rush Hour Rants. It's a new thing I'm starting, a little bit of news on the go, some recent or current articles that I wanted to cover, some that are very uh, noteworthy, and really I could, can't really cover everything in my weekly video podcast or broadcasts and special reports, so I chose to do it in this fashion. If you're watching this on uh, YouTube and video version, you can see article the actual article screenshots and article links and any other images and, and graphics and things like that. But I uh, listen to this uh, in a podcast format. This is a quick way for you to get quick little uh, news tips and things like that concerning our food and our, our the integrity of our food supply. Um, we have moved away from GMOs. Of course, we'll never be done on, on reporting on, on GMOs, but the special reports is... As far as those go for right now, the series that we've been doing for the last few months, that's over. But we're moving into high fructose corn syrup, and this uh, article really coincides with that. So I wanted to bring it up. And it's titled, it's out of naturalnews.com, but uh, it's also from, there's some articles here from Yahoo News and Science Daily, etc. Uh, but this particular article that Natural News uses those sources for is titled, Drinking high fructose corn syrup really does make you stupid. And it says, if you think eating and drinking foods that contain high fructose corn syrup every now and again will not do that, do you that much harm, think again. A new study out of the University of California, Los Angeles, or UCLA, has found that consuming high fructose corn syrup can actually destroy memory, slow mental function, and ultimately deteriorate brain performance. And now the article goes on to say that uh, researchers used used some lab rats to navigate a complicated maze. They let them do this for five five days. They trained them to do this, and then they divided that those groups into two smaller groups. And both groups were fed then fed a solution containing high fructose corn syrup in their water for two weeks. Um, and while another group was given flaxseed oil, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and also DHA. And so they did the test, and of course, as I'm sure you can assume, or as you know, uh, the rats that had the high fructose corn syrup diet just couldn't um, couldn't really navigate the maze, and as well, uh, the same way that they did when they were training in the maze. So they... It says their brain cells had trouble signaling each other, disrupting the rat's ability to think clearly and recall the route that they had learned six weeks earlier. And the ones with the um, high omega-3 um, diet, they, they, did, they did much better, uh, clearly. And so beyond the, the brain damage, the team also found that without supplemental DHA and omega-3s, high fructose corn syrup, Consumption leads to insulin resistance because of the particular way that fructose appears to disrupt neuronal function and the brain's absorption of insulin. So it confirms that high fructose corn syrup, even more so than glucose and other forms of processed sugar, is definitely and uniquely linked to causing diabetes, despite claims by the corn refiners industry to the contrary. So, of course, someone that sells corn is going to say that corn is okay for you to eat. I mean, that's... It's like asking a divorce attorney if you should get a divorce. So, um, so that's the test there and uh, th that they did, and it clearly points that out. And uh, I've given up soda. You know, if you look at any basic sodas, they have the high fructose corn syrup as the first ingredient. So, it's it's cheap to make and it's cheap to have in there for lower costs. And of course, it there's other issues with it, and that's what we're covering in our uh, series of special reports on high fructose corn syrup. For the next few weeks so you'll see more about how it's produced and how they won't let you know how it's produced and things like that and you'll get to see some some basics of high fructose corn syrup and why you should steer clear at all costs it is in um, it is in so much of the food we eat so it is a big a big change in lifestyle to really do away with it but there are alternatives and if we like I've said before vote with our dollars we can help change that so and there's also if you really can't get away from soda there's other uh, non high fructose corn syrup sodas and I'm not talking about the uh, diet sodas and things you want to stay stay way clear of those especially but my five minutes is almost up as a goal here to keep it short so until next time this is foodoffensive.com's rush hour rants thank you for listening